side and, and, and just stood there, rested a leg and cocked his ears. Even money favourite. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens during this race. But he's an exciting, exciting horse. We all need a hero. Well, I don't think Keith Brown will hang around. Over to you, Peter. And that a wrap. Carville's Hill goes straight into the lead from Golden Freeze on his inside as they come to the first of the 22 fences. Carville's Hill, Golden Freeze. Golden Freeze lands in the lead from Carville's Hill, who didn't jump all that brilliantly. Golden Freeze from Carville's Hill, King's Fountain, Docklands Express on the far side. Then Toby Tobias, the back marker at the moment is the fella. Golden Freeze landed in the lead there from Carville Hill, a giant leap from him in second. Then King's Founded and Docklands Express. Then Toby Tobias and Norton's Coin, Cool Ground, and finally the fellow. And now Carville Hill going on. Carville Hill goes up on the outside of Golden Freeze, who's clearly trying to bustle him as they go down towards the third. Golden Freeze on the inside of Carville's Hill, a long gap then to King's Fountain, Toby de Bars and Docklands Express as they come to the third. And Golden Freeze jumped in the lead from Carville's Hill. Coming down to the water now, Golden Freeze, the leader from Carville's Hill at the water. Golden Freeze lands in the lead, Carville's Hill jumps its second, King's Fountain third. Then Toby de Bowser, Norton's Coin and Docklands Express and Cool Ground and the fellow, the first of four ditches. Golden Freeze lands in the lead from Carville's Hill. Then King's Fountain, Docklands Express, Toby de Bowser on the far side, Cool Ground and then the fellow over the sixth. Still Golden Freeze, Carville's Hill, King's Fountain. Docklands Express on the inside, Norton's coin, then Toby Tobias, cool ground on the fellow. Second of the ditches now. A giant leap on the inside by Carville's Hill, with Golden Freeze on his outer, still uh, keeping his tabs on him. As they come to the next, Golden Freeze, a beautiful jump on the outside of Carville's Hill. The others very closely grouped as they begin to swing left-handed now and run downhill on the first circuit in this Gold Cup. Number nine, they're coming to Carville's Hill on the inside of Golden Freeze at this one. Golden Freeze, and oh, Carville's Hill a mistake there. Carville's Hill a definite mistake at that one. Golden Freeze the leader by a couple now from Carville's Hill as they run to another downhill fence and quite a critical one, the tenth. Golden Freeze, the leader from Carville's Hill. Golden Freeze, Carville's Hill. King's Fountain, jumped at third, beginning to get into his stride, warming up. Toby Tobias, the stable companion of the leader, has moved into fourth. The fellows making a little ground towards the outside as they come to this turn and face up to what will be the second last on the next circuit. Golden Freeze from Carville's Hill, King's Fountain, quite close now, Toby Tobias, Docklands Express over on the far side, then Cool Ground, Norton's Express, and The Fellow. Over the 11th, Golden Freeze from Carville's Hill. And the field getting very closely grouped now as they come to number 12. Golden Freeze from Carville's Hill. Not too clever, that one, Carville's Hill at all. Really hit that one. A lesser rider than uh, Peter Scudamore would have been really disturbed by that, but Peter seems quite unshakable as he goes on to take the lead again on Carville's Hill. Carville's Hill going on from Golden Freeze, Toby DeBars is third and King Kong in four on the outside, and then all in close attendance are the fellow Norton's Coin, Cool Brown and Dockland's Express. Carville's Hill at the 13th on Golden Freeze. Now the water, Carvel's Hill, on the inside of King's Fountain, who goes up to dispute it with him. Toby de Bars has gone third, King's Fountain, a beautiful jump on the outside of Carville's Hill there. Toby de Bars is third, the fellow four, five Docklands Express, six is Cool Ground, seven is Norton's Coin, the third of the ditches, Carville's, oh, and King's Fountain has gone there. King's Fountain has gone at that one, left Carville's Hill in the lead from Toby de Bars, Docklands Express, and the fellow over the 16th. Cool ground next, and then Norton's Coin. 
and now they race towards the final ditch. It's Carville's Hill, six from home, from Toby de Bars and the fellow, Docklands Express, Cool Ground and Norton's Coin. Carville's Hill. Golden Freeze has been pulled up. Coming to the top of the hill, Carville's Hill, the leader, five from home. Carville's Hill. Lands in the lead from the fellow, Cool Ground, Docklands Express, Toby de Bars losing ground, and Norton's Coin with a great deal to do at the moment. And it's the big two in the betting. Carville's Hill now from the fellow with Cool Ground back in third and four left to jump. Carville's Hill and the fellow. Carville's Hill with a clear advantage over the fellow and Cool Ground and the crowd now beginning to roar for this potential cha champion, Carville's Hill, as he comes down to the third last. Carville's Hill from the fellow on the outside, Adam Conrad still challenging. Carville's Hill from the fellow, Cool Ground, and the fellow going very well on the near side. Carville's Hill on the far side, it's Peter Scudamore and Adam Conrad from Cool Ground under pressure. Docklands Express trying to get into the picture now as they race to this next fence. Two from home, Carville's Hill, Cool Ground on the far side, and Carville's Hill faded as Cool Ground takes it up from the fellow. The fellow on the near side, Cool Ground on the far side, the fellow lands just in the lead from Cool Ground, and it's the fellow for France striding away now from Docklands Express as they come down to the final fence. It's the fellow who's got a length and a half advantage from Cool Ground. The fellow lands in the lead, but Docklands Express comes to challenge him. And it's Docklands Express on the near side, the fellow on the far side. Well, as they race up towards the line, it's head on head. The fellow in the centre, Cool Ground on the near side, Docklands Express. It's going to be a photo and at the line. Cool Ground has got up just to inch the fellow out of it. Cool Ground has won it from Docklands Express in a photo from... Uh, the fellow in a photo, Cool Ground has won it, I think, from the fellow with Docklands Express third. It's very close indeed. It'll be interesting to see the head on here. Carville's Hill was ultimately pulled up, but has Adrian Maguire on Cool Ground got up in the closing stages? I think once again the French who've never run won a race post-war at Cheltenham have been beaten again. Adam Conrad congratulates. Adrian Maguire, Carville's Hill just walking up to the line now with a totally shattered Peter Scudamore, simply unable to believe it. There he crosses the line. And here, cool ground owned by Whitcomb Manor Stables, waiting. Adrian Maguire to hear the number two called. It's very close, but he's acknowledging the cheers.